to uh, Arthur Hooper's uh, to see what kind of wine's there in the shore. Uh, it should be interesting, they're kind of a new wine shop, so we'll see. So we are at uh, Arthur Hooper's. So we're trying out the um, London White Week again here uh, with uh, three Barberos. So the first one up is the Croatia Barbera, and uh, the second one is a Australian Macan Vale uh, Barbera, and the third one is an uh, Italian uh, Barbera. So um, I'll have to double check that last one, but I think it might be a Tartar Argentinian. Um, so far, actually, that, that last one, I've tried to double check on whether it is actually Argentina. But this one's really lovely. The, as they have said it, it's, um, it's pretty. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite fresh, red fruits on the palate. Um, yeah, and it's a lot more silkier than the other two. Which is what I have a bigger issue with Barbera is that usually the tannins are there. It's got the body, but it kind of overpowers everything else. Um, that's nicely done. I think the acidity there has been quite nicely balanced out. Uh, yeah, I think the other two, I thought the McLaren Vale one, uh, that was it's quite high on the alcohol, but I think it's unbalanced. I think it's, um, it's quite grippy, but there's the fruit flavours are not coming through and the Asti, which is the Italian one um, I thought this was high in the acidity but again nothing really there as far as flavours are concerned but yeah um, interesting, I mean the iOS glasses are quite nice I think you know, having such small glasses, especially if they hold you really small amounts is quite interesting um, it's quite interesting really as far as um, what I thought about the wines, what I thought about Barbera. I thought it was good that they expressed three different types of Barbera overall. Um, I just thought the two really lacked, which, which was the Italian and the Australian. And the third one was a lot more brighter, a lot more smoother. And that's kind of what I expect Barbera to be like now. You know, I think the kind of rustic tannin part of it kind of runs a bit boring after a while. So. Um, it's interesting, it's a very nice bar. Um, yeah, but the third one was my best choice.